Ah, uh, Deirdre, she's at the hospital. Already? No, well, she's been there all night. You see, um, Samir's had some kind of an accident. Well, in an exclusive interview using strong language, he told us that Mr Roach is a great guy who handled the pressure with dignity. Uh, I'm absolutely delighted for William and Adina's family. who have obviously been there every day with him by his side, as, as I would have expected. But, um, you know, we all know he's 81 years of age and uh, it's a hell of a hell of a thing to go through. A friend of mine went through a similar thing last year and a personal friend, therefore I know you know, I know what it, what he was going through, it, uh, so I'm absolutely delighted for him. How difficult has it been to reconcile, you know, the accusations that have been made against Bill Roach with you know, your your understanding of him as an individual? Well, notwithstanding the fact that, as I say, he had to go through the process, it's it's uh, you know you you accept that, but um, you know, you, look, I know William, I worked with him for 11 years, which is. A lot less than some of the senior members of the cast, but nevertheless, um, you know, I had the utmost respect for him, as every other member of the cast did. He's a he's a standard bearer for the show. You know, nothing's nothing's bigger than the street, but he's as big as. And um, you know, we all we've known him for years, and um, he used to play cricket for me. And I'll tell you, he's a wicked sense of humour. He's a great fella, and um, always called me Charles. I always called him William. Um, and uh, as I say, I, I, I couldn't be happier for him, you know, and I hope, well, I know that he'll want to get back in the saddle as quick as he can because, you know, that's what he is. He's a professional actor and that's his business. Not only has he endured a trial in the court, he's obviously endured a trial in, in the media and newspapers and, and on TV as well. Do you think that, you know, William should have been protected from that kind of scrutiny? Well, look, the, you know... <sighs> Whether or not that that happens, we don't know. I mean, uh, the Levinson report and all the rest. Who, who knows? I, I don't know. But at the moment, the law says that, um, you know, you, we've got to stand up there and, and take all this crap that's thrown at us before we're proven innocent, you know. Um, Hugh Grant's fighting to change that, amongst others, and, and, I, and from, by my way of thinking, I would hope it would change, but at the moment, we can't do anything about that. We have to take all the flack. And then we have to live with the, with the, all the no smoke without fire stuff that goes on forever, you know. So, um, but that's democracy, and that's the freedom of the press we have in this country. And, and uh, I'm afraid it has to be defended. Some say it's 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 grossly unfair the way um, you know actors, famous people, whatever you want to call us, or, or the cards we're dealt. Other people will say, well, if you're up there, you deserve to be shot at. I don't know. It's not in the statute book, so we can't change it, I'm afraid.